fam, welcome back to the Philip Scott Show. I am Ungil Zalal, I'm bringing you this report. Today's report is about Columbus Short. He just gave an interesting interview and he revealed that he slept with Britney Spears, first of all, and her father, actually her parents, he didn't say if it's her father or her mother, he just said her parents, call him the N-word when him and Britney Spears were going out. Let me review the article that Madame Noir wrote on this, we'll come back and discuss. In a recent interview, actor and dancer Columbus Short doubled down on the recollection from his 2020 autobiography titled Short Stories, where he claimed that he slept with singer Britney Spears back in 2003 and overheard her parents refer to him as the N-word. Columbus worked as a backup dancer and producer for Britney Spears back in the day. According to the tea he spilled in his book, after Spears came on to him, the two slept together during a trip to Rome. Even though Columbus says the two were only intimate ones, he claimed that after things went down, he heard the singer's parents refer to him as a racial slur. He said, quote, I was next to Britney while she was on the phone with them crying while she had it on speaker. He alleges that he overheard Britney's parents ask, why are you effing that n-word? Britney looked at me so apologetically knowing I'd heard it. I shook my head and didn't say anything because what was there to say? In an interview from last week with Inside Hollywood, Columbus gave more detail about his feelings surrounding the incident. According to him, he wasn't surprised at the comment Britney Spears' parents allegedly made because he knows where they're from. He recalled the incident as being a wake-up call within regards to where he stood with Spears and her family. He said, I wasn't shocked when it happened. Look where they're from. They're from Louisiana. Just because they're in Hollywood or just because now they have black bodyguards doesn't mean that behind closed doors they don't use the word. I think that was a common thing and the way it came out was so effortless. Like that's how they speak. I wasn't shocked and I wasn't hurt by it. I was just like, wow, okay, I know who I am around here. It was a very interesting thing. So he said, after that, I felt like maybe Britney was using me to piss them off for some reason. I'm just saying that, but I don't know. I think maybe I thought that for a second, but I think she is a really sweet person that was tormented in a position on a high level that I can't imagine. I liken it to Princess Diana. She was the poor princess of the world. Britney couldn't go nowhere. Her world was completely controlled in this bubble. There would be times that she would act out and I don't blame her. She was trying to find something, trying to find her way. This is a new information to me. I did not know that this guy's dated or went out or according to him slept once allegedly and um, I found it interesting. Okay, first of all before we get to the n-word, can we talk about how he's just throwing it out there like that and he's a man? I don't know if this is to sell his book uh, because this information was already in his book according to this article but now he's actually doubling down on what he previously said. My thing is I don't know like do you have to say that do you have to mention that can't you show your support uh, with the free Britney movement without you mentioning that you have slept together and uh, maybe she slept with I don't know I, I don't know maybe a lot of people won't find a problem with this even me I, I don't know if it's a problem or not but it's just like it feels like a high schoolish or like even college students don't do that that much like like oh I slept with so and so who have kissed so and so it's just so childish to me but i understand maybe like him having i uh, slept with britney spears can sell his books and also britney spears is a bigger star than him so obviously uh, people will pay more attention to that but that's not the point of this story i just found that a bit interesting that he felt the need to mention that yes i slept with britney spears <laughs> that's all um anyways so he's saying he's claiming that her her she dated him to piss off her parents and they were actually pissed and they called him the n-word not to his face he's saying um she was over the phone with them and it was on speaker so he was able to hear what they said uh, to him and she felt so bad knowing that he heard what they said um that's what he said and um, he said he was not hurt he was not surprised it was just like oh, okay I know where you're from even though you are in Hollywood right now and you're making all this money you're still that person that comes from there and he was just not shocked by this uh, by hearing this from her parents but my thing is did he actually break up 
with her because of that because they didn't make it clear um on the interview he just stopped dating her but still is it because like somebody decided to call you that word or it just didn't work out i'm not sure about that but clearly her father i didn't know about her mom but her father have had in, in my eyes he has issues he's not I don't know why wouldn't you want to let your daughter if she doesn't want to be under you anymore why not let her go i understand maybe he fears that she's not you know uh, capable enough but why does he find it hard to give it to the mom why not give it to the mom then like if your if your concern is about your daughter you should be able to give that guardianship i don't know what it's called but conservative ship concert something like that so why not give it to her mother so that she can take care of it like he's just saying nope 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 she is going to be under me forever and that uh he gives me i don't know he gives me bad vibes maybe it's just uh we believe that because of all the things that we heard about him and we've seen how he treated her maybe that's why and we don't know for sure if he has uh good intentions for her or not but i really hope that he let her go she's like a grown woman now and he should not be controlling every aspect of her life but i don't know maybe it's for the best who knows but it doesn't look like that at, at least to me but my question to you guys is does it change like do you think people would change the way they look at her parents now that they know they're low-key racist why would you call somebody an n-word just for dating your your daughter you could just address him uh, by using his name or you know why do you feel the need to address him saying n-word so do you think that will get them in trouble or you think they'll get away with it let us know down below uh, what your thoughts are but also i want to hear from you like do you think it was necessary for him to mention by that i mean columbus to mention that they they, they slept together and um, he just had to throw that information out there i mean i guess there's no harm but also i just thought it was childish let us know down below what your thoughts are i am wingil zalal i'm bringing you this report i'll see you on the next one bye